some people think, yeah, independent, I don't want to live on my own, but it's not, it's not always the way, do you know what I mean? Like, The, the title in itself, independent living, is is what it is. But independent living living isn't as joyful and as as happy as everyone thinks. You as you're growing up as a kid, oh, I can't wait till I'm 16 to leave home. You know, I, I, I said that when I was younger. But it's when I left home at 16, it wasn't it wasn't the rosy the rosy fun fair trip that I thought it was going to be. Do you know what I mean? It, and obviously, I've ended up in the situation I'm in now. It was okay when I first moved. It was exciting. It was hard work, but it was pretty cool. But as it's progressed, I've lived here a year and a half now, and I kind of want to go back. People might think living by yourself, oh yeah, it's easy because I get to do what I want. Do, 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 do. It's not that I'd say if anyone thinks living by themselves is easy, then I, then they don't know. There's a lot of things I need to be aware of. I need to pay my rent now. I need to deal with my council tax, make sure I've got money coming in all the time, whether that be through job seeker, through working. Um, it's very difficult trying to keep on top of my shopping, uh, making sure that everything's tidy, doing my washing. I don't get any of that done for me now, so it's, it's a lot of work. You're not used to being with a whole set of completely new people living with like loads and loads of people you're not quite used to it like so it is hard like especially like doing your own cooking doing your own dishes doing your own washing stuff like that you've always you might have always had your parents there to do it for you now you've got to do it by yourself i'm only allowed like someone to like stay with for, for like two nights so like not being two only allowed to stay two nights a week I find that quite difficult because some days I don't even get to see it. It's just mainly budgeting, you know, when you're obviously, if, you, if you're unemployed and you only get a certain amount to live on through the benefit system, it's a bit hard, like, to juggle your money, do you know what I mean? Especially if you smoke, if, you got, if, you, if you're addicted to nicotine, do you know what I mean? You've got, boom, you've got to spend, what, the price of a packet of fags these days are six quid, and obviously the price of your rent or whatever to keep a roof over your, over your head. By the time you've done that, you're left with nine pennies to to sort of budget between food and things like that. It's it, it, it's not it's not easy to live on your own. Do you know what I mean? It's it's not unless you unless you're able to get a, get a job and you you've got a decent job and you're earning a decent wage. Living off the off the government the government wage is is impossible. Yeah, like when I first moved in, I had no money income. Like I quit my job because any money that I was getting from my job, my mum would take off me. So I ended up quitting that before I moved in here. I was on no money income. I was like, I've had problems with social services. So I'm a lack child, which is a looked after child. And I had like, I got told by me, for six weeks I didn't have no money income. I was constantly going to the store cupboard, constantly going to food banks and stuff. I just find it so difficult, to be honest. Like, there's nothing that sort of would catch me. And sort of when I wake up in the morning, sort of just tell me, yeah, let's get out of bed, let's go do this. Mm -hmm. Like, everything's like, yeah, it's mm -hmm. the morning again. It's another day that I've got to try and get through. The hardest thing is to actually know what you want to do in life. Because you end up you end up thinking, yeah, you know what you want to do in life, but then you haven't got that option no more because now you're paying for your rent, your food, you're paying for everything. So you haven't got that option to, to save your money and decide what you really want to do. Like, get a, you won't be able to get a car, you won't be able to, these things come off the list. You've got, to, you've got to, now you've got a fun for yourself, you know? And you're only 15, 16, 17, you know what I mean? Even, even people, well, yeah, they're stuck in it and they're like, my age, 27, they're still at their mum's house where they, they thought they was ready and they moved out when they was 15, 16 and now they have to move back. Um, well, first of all, try not to get kicked out of your parents' house. Um, appreciate what they do. That's what I didn't do. Um, secondly, I'd say ask for as much advice as you can get. Um, unfortunately, like I said before, the advice doesn't come to you. You have to go and get it. 
like I said, you've got to have the right frame of mind to live by yourself. You can't just say, yeah, I want to live by myself because it's not as easy as saying it. You need to think, seriously think, can I afford this? Can I do this? Da -da 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 -da. My advice is stay at home as long as you can. Um, not because, I know everyone wants their independence, but independence comes at a price. Um, and even if you don't have a good relationship with your parents, talk to them. I mean, they're your parents. They they should uh, they should love you. And like I said, my family network is really strong, so that always comes first. And you'll you'll be surprised how much they'll be willing to help you once you've mend the, mended the bonds between you. Whatever you do, I think while you're in education, it's best to live at home because you've got a roof over your head. More than likely, your parents do pay your bills. You might chip in with a few bills. That's the best thing to do. But I think when you start working, it's better to stay at home for a while, save your money, and then go out there rather than just go out there and have nothing and then start from scratch. If you can stay at home, definitely. But learn, you know, get up in the morning, iron your own clothes, cook your own breakfast, you know, don't rely on them to do it for you. It's all, it's good for you to do it yourself, you know, because they're not always going to be there doing it for you. It's as simple as that. You need to learn now for later. Simple. Stay at home as long as you can. Would that say I want to move up because I hate my parents and stuff like that? If I were you, stay at home. Show sure respect to your parents and stay there as long as you can and save up some money and then hopefully you'll learn the, the, the value of a penny and you can hopefully save, uh, inshallah, save up for your mortgage. If you don't, then you're gonna, you're gonna, you've got to spend constantly. You've got to, you know what I mean? You've got to look after yourself. Your mum is, is, is the most beautiful thing. No one loves you more than your mum. She's gonna bathe you. She's gonna keep clothes on your back. She's gonna put a roof over your head. As soon as you're 15, 16, you think, oh, nah, you know what? she's not giving me to clean my room, this and that. In the end, what you're going to do is you're just going to breeze off and then, you know what I mean? You're going to be led, led to a led astray, you know what I mean? And all you're going to be doing, all what's it for? It's what, so you can smoke a zoot and not be bothered, you know? It's not worth it, man. It's not worth it.